Most people familiar with the Great Lakes are aware of the shipwreck of the Edmund Fitzgerald, but some people may not know that the Edmund Fitzgerald actually had a sister ship, and the name of that sister ship was the Arthur B. Homer. Just for those of you who may not be aware of what a sister ship means, it's basically referring to a vessel that has the same design as another vessel, in other words, just a twin of the original vessel. The Arthur B. Homer was built at the same place the Edmund Fitzgerald was two years later in 1960 at the Great Lakes Engineering Works of River Rouge, Michigan. The ship was built for Bethlehem Steel's Great Lakes Steamship Division. Although the Homer and the Fitzgerald had the same design, the Fitzgerald had guest quarters and the Homer did not. Aside from that though, most everything about the two vessels was the same. The ship was the last vessel to be constructed at the Great Lakes Engineering Works of River Rouge, Michigan, before it closed. The ship also was slightly longer than the Fitzgerald. The vessel's career went along smoothly until October 5, 1972, when the vessel collided with a Greek saltwater vessel named Navy Shipper on the Detroit River. At the time of the collision, the Navy Shipper did not have a pilot on board, which is a violation of maritime law. Now, if you're wondering, a pilot for a saltwater vessel navigating the Great Lakes is a requirement so that the captains who are not very familiar with the channels and waterways of the Great Lakes can have some help navigating. As for the Arthur B. Homer, the ship suffered significant damage to her bow section, and after being unloaded, the ship was taken to Lorraine, Ohio for repairs. After the ship was repaired, it was finally returned to service on April 10th, 1973. In 1976, the Homer was lengthened to 826 feet from 730 feet. Also, while being worked on, a bow thruster was installed. After the work was done, the ship returned to service that same year. On April 23rd of 1980, one of the Homer's bow thrusters suffered a malfunction while maneuvering in some ice at Taconite Harbor, Minnesota. Some damage was done to her bow and her ballast tank, but she was repaired at Fraser Shipyards. Although the ship was repaired, it would be soon sent to layup on October 4th, 1980. Because of the declining steel industry on the Great Lakes and the arrival of the Thousand Footers. The ship sat idle for six years until it was finally sold for scrap in 1986. And on December 9th, 1986, the ship was towed to Port Colborne, Ontario for scrapping to begin. The Arthur B. Homer remained the longest vessel to be scrapped at Port Colborne at 826 feet until the recent scrapping of the St. Clair. Anyways, that concludes a brief history on the Arthur B. Homer, the much overshadowed sister ship of the Edmund Fitzgerald. Aside from that, though, thank you for watching this video. Hit the subscribe button, and sorry I haven't uploaded in so long.